tunnels, dredging of ports and ship channels and airports. I mean, think about an airport like Atlanta. It's an entire city. It has restaurants. It has three or four types of transportation. It has buildings. It has sewers and treatment plants. It has drinking water. It ha it's a whole city, and it's just an airport. Um, we do coastal kinds of things, um, living shorelines, uh, barrier island restorations, all kinds of things with the coast, uh, drainage and flooding, dams and reservoirs, power production. You know, there's just an ungodly amount of things that civil engineers are involved in. And when you're in high school, it's roads and bridges, you know. So most people, and not just high school students, but the general public really doesn't know all the things that civil engineers are involved in and provide for them every day. You know, we do a presentation to high school students where we talk about uh, their day. What do you do when you first get out of bed in the morning? You turn on the light, maybe. That power got there through power lines that are supported by big structures that civil engineers designed. You go to the bathroom. That's wastewater, civil engineers. You brush your teeth. That's drinking water that civil engineers provide. You get in the car or on the bus to go to school or work, you're driving on a roadway and a traffic management system that civil engineers put together. You cross a bridge, there's a drainage to keep your road and your houses from flooding. That's all civil engineering. You get to work or school, you're in a building designed by civil engineers. So everything you do, you touch civil engineering and you don't even realize it. Yeah. So it's pretty cool yeah. what we do. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. All right. Good deal.